And we start the second quarter at second down and seven at the 27 of Pittsburgh. The Seahawks leading three to nothing. Craig to John L. Williams trying to find an opening and gets to the 21 yard line. Williams, the six year veteran from Florida who leads the team in rushing. And now let's check the ITT 10 minute ticker. The Dolphins with a field goal taking a three to nothing lead over the run and shoot. Oilers. That won't last. I don't believe that'll no. last. That'll be a high scoring game, I would suspect. At least by Houston. Your old team, the Jets, leading the Colts 7 to nothing. Everybody leads the Colts. <laughs> third down two for the Seahawks. They've converted two of four third down situations so far. Warren and Williams are the running backs. They bring the tight end McNeil in motion. Craig's pass is complete to John L. Williams, and he's got the first down. Such a great receiver. He said it comes naturally. Played on a wishbone team in high school. They threw to him some at Florida, but he's got huge hands, which is one of the reasons he's such a good receiver. An excellent blocker. That's why Brian Hinkle's caught in this chase position. You see 53, because first, Hinkle's playing the run. He figures the Seahawks are going to lead with big John L., and John L. comes at you faking that block and breaks out in the flat. John L. with some big hands. He had 73 catches a year ago. It's first and goal to go at the seven yard line. Kane and Blades are split wide to the left. Clark is wide right. Williams down to the six yard line where he's brought down by the nose tackle Gerald Williams. Inside the 20, the Seahawks with 27 possessions. They've scored nine touchdowns, nine field goals, and have turned the ball over three times. Second down. Yeah, that's not very good. They have struggled offensively, which is uh, really understandable. But now that Craig's back in control, you're looking at a far more efficient offense. Second and goal to go. Clark and Chadwick are wide left. Blades and Kane wide right. Greg has had the hot hand in the first half so far. Williams straight ahead, close to the end zone, but stopped short. Inside the one. I'm sure everyone watching this game had the feeling that Craig was calling a play for John L. Williams at the line of scrimmage, audibleizing because of what Dave Craig sees of the defense, and John L. has a pretty good hole in there. He just gets tripped up. Third down on the one yard. Nearly got in for the touchdown, but was tripped up by, uh, well, I'm not sure. It looked like 94. Was it 64? 64, Kenny Davidson. All right. Who's starting today at defensive end in place of Aaron Jones, who has a bad shoulder. Over the top. Right now, they're going to run this thing. If they run it, try to get over the top. They got two tight ends in the game, Tice and McNeil. John L. Williams trying to pound it into the end zone, and he is in for a touchdown. Over the top or through the line. Nevertheless, he got across that goal line. John L. with his third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Seahawks lead nine to nothing. Just good drive by the Seahawk offensive front. No black jerseys. Not one black jersey got penetration near the area of the ball carrier. Nice blocking by John L. Williams offensive unit up front. 